Hello guys, today we're going to learn how can I edit permissions of my Android app. In your My Apps area, you will see two sections, Publish App and Test App. In both these sections, you will see Edit Permission, button under Android tab, as only Android allows to restrict the permissions from the app APK. Please note working of both the buttons are same. Just to inform you, if you make any change in any of the edit permission section, the same will reflect into the other section as well. It means if you set any permission to on off and save it in test app section, then once you try to edit permission of the same app from publish section, you will see the permission set to on off. The same will reflect in test app section if you turn on off any permission from publish app section. If you try to edit permission settings into both sections of the same app simultaneously, then the settings will be applied to both the section whichever you save it at the last. Suppose you were accessing permission section from publish app section and test app section simultaneously and you set camera permission to off from the test app section and save it. Then in the publish app section, you can you keep camera permission to on and save it then it will only consider the last setting of the last save section. In the edit permission section, you will see all the permission settings. By default, all the settings are set to on, however you can change it anytime. Camera permission allows you your app to access device native camera, but if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires access to camera, then you can turn it off. Next is record audio. This permission allows app to access the device native mic to record audio. But if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires access to, to, to your mic or you don't want your app users to record any audio from the app, then you can turn it to off. Cell phone permission allows app to access device dialer to initiate a call. Means your app users can directly initiate a call to your prefix contact numbers from your app directly. But if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires to make a call from the app, then you could turn it off. Location. As the title implies, this permission allows your app to access device's GPS location. But if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires to auto-detect the device's GPS location, then you could turn it off. Contacts. This permission allows your app to add a new contact or fetch contact list from your device. But if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires to access device contacts, then you can turn it off. Phone state. It is a package of permissions which allows your, your app to access multiple feature services of the device, like phone, phone state to check if device is awake or not, phone number to get the device mobile number, current cellular information, the status of the ongoing call, and the list of the accounts registered on the device. Calendar. This permission allows your app to access and add events in your device calendar. But if your app doesn't contain any feature which requires to access or add events in device calendar, then you can turn it off. There are some notices from our side which you have to keep in mind if you are accessing or editing permissions. Firstly, as your app is already built and may be also live on Google Play, so the permissions are locked for editing. But if you wish to change the permissions of your app, then you can do so. However, this mean this would mean your app will be will need a rebuild and will need to be resubmitted to the Play Store. Secondly, be careful when disabling settings because if you disable some important app settings, your app may start to malfunction or some of its function may become unavailable. There's a reset button which will reset the default settings for all the permissions. Once you are done editing permissions for your Android app, then you can save it. After saving permissions section, you have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes to apply the update settings in your app and rebuild your app according to the current permission set. It's, re it's recommended if you are changing permissions settings of your app, then first of all test the updated version before going live. For checking the updated version, uninstall the old version of the app from your mobile device, then re-download and reinstall updated version using the same test link, and test your app. If all good, then you can republish your app on Google Play. 
that's it for now. Thanks for watching.